piloted the affairs of the command with all sense of professionalism, charging my men to be up and doing and not sparing the big stick on officers found wanting. We have rejected our township patrol, paying special attention to high risk areas, especially at peak period. This has helped a lot to reduce traffic robberies. I want to commend the commitment of the officers and men, the DPOs, the area commanders, and the, uh, the management team for their commitment, for their passion to make sure that these strategies are put in place and are properly implemented. The enforcement on the ban of Mutsaku uh, is not left out, as our continuous enforcement drives have been yielding positive results. We are all aware that most crimes committed are committed with the use of bike. So eliminating bike in the prohibited areas will definitely lead to a reduction in criminal activities. A total of 4,502 motorcycles have so far been impounded on the prohibited routes and have been handed over to the state government for crushing. Since our Zoom duty, a total of 2,239 suspects have been arrested for crime ranging from courtism to armed robbery leading to the recovery of stolen property. Why we're able to achieve this is that the divisional police officers, the area commands, are mandated to ensure that raids are carried out every week. Identify the, uh, the black spots and ensure the raids are carried out. And by the time we were able to do that, it was so overwhelming that the prison yards became uh, filled up. And uh, it was later we, we, the, the, the prison, the correctional center, to create more space for us to keep the suspect. So we were able to get as many suspects because it was a comprehensive approach to tackle the black spots and make sure that the black spots are reduced to soft spots. And the area commanders and the DPO religiously carried this out and tremendously recorded the huge success in this area and were able to get many of them out of the public space from disturbing the peace and serenity of our community. During these periods, we were able to recover stolen properties. The same way, a total of 2,203 have been prosecuted while many others are currently being processed for prosecution. Upon assumption of duty, I presented to Lagosians my 10-point agenda, which I think if you look into the record, almost all of them have been achieved. Uh, to some extent, we are still working on it, and we are going to achieve them fully. I don't have to bother you by reading the 10-point agenda. Uh, specifically, I want to summarize in the last few months, Lagos State Police Command have arrested 64 suspects who have engaged in varying crimes, including armed robbery, courtism, and unlawful possession of firearms, unlawful possession of illicit drugs, and recovered a total of 20 firearms, including four toy guns. 120 rounds of ammunition, 28 live ammunition, 15 live cartridges, and three expanded cartridges alongside the recovery. And four vehicles, POS machine, illicit drugs, and an AK-47 uh, rifle recovered from uh, suspected kidnappers. You agree with me that all suspects in this category will be charged to court. We will ensure that the due process is followed. Uh, it is our resolve that we continue to improve on our performance by regularly reviewing our strategies, rejig our men, and motivate them for better performance. Our relationship with the members of the public will remain cordial. We emphasize on that very much, except we have Cordial relationship with members of the public, 
we may not get the best out of them. Uh, gentlemen of the press, uh, let me explain this to you first, that uh, the owner of this vehicle um, had the normal Muslim prayers before eating in the morning, early morning, and he parked his vehicle on the road. Some miscreants went and removed the vehicle, and they took it away. So, then she decided to make, or he decided to make some effort, and went trans, went to Ladipo to check for the vehicle he didn't then. I think the spirit directed her to go to a, a location in Ojo, and she went there, I mean he went there. And once he got there, he saw the tire of the of the vehicle stolen and the plate number. And the vehicles had all been dismantled and all been broken into pieces. And saw some other vehicle broken into pieces. So I called the DPO, uh, Janiki and Tactical team to move there. They made some arrests, about 10 of them were arrested and all the parts of the vehicles were recovered. And what I'm trying to bring out is that the crime is so organized that when vehicles are stolen, you, we will be running around to see whether we can recover the vehicle, but unfortunately, the vehicles had been dismantled. So there's no way we can even recover it if we do not discover, discover a place like this. So we've discovered a place, and we know there are other places like that. We put our eyes on them and make sure that we make their business uh, not profitable again. So, that is for that. We... Most of these uh, locally made pistols were recovered from courtists, court members, and those of them that robs on in traffic, traffic robbers. You agree with me that for some time we have been able to reduce traffic robbery to the barest minimum. Because we have made so many arrests, we have recovered their weapons, we have recovered the vehicles they use for this traffic robbery, and then we have also made sure that we make their trade, their business not profitable again. At the same time, we have also made sure that the court boys have no room to operate because we carried it to their territory carry the battle to their den, we push them out of their den and make sure that we parry them and make sure they are properly prosecuted. And I'm telling you, without missing what them, thousands of them are languishing in Kirikiri and uh, Ikoyi prison. We will not relent on our efforts because the issue of courtism is so embarrassing. It doesn't give us, it's not giving us good image. And it's not beneficial to even the members of the court group. Because when you ask them what's their benefit, they don't have any benefit. Rather than, rather than showing that this court group is supreme to the other court group. So I think this mentality, we need to raise it and make sure that we redirect their mentality to the, to the right direction where they will be useful to our society, to the members of the public. They are our children, they are our youth. And the way they are going, we need to redirect their, their mission and vision and see how we can rehabilitate some of them to be directed to do useful ventures. The issue in Idimu and Ikotu have adequately been taken care of. We have arrested those kidnappers and they are, under, they are undergoing uh, serious interrogations and they will soon appear in court. Uh, we've arrested them, we recover harms from them and I must tell you, if you go through that area, you will see the presence of our men everywhere, especially in the night, on, I mean, conducting stop and search. So we have taken care of that. And I must tell you, since that incident, nothing of such has happened in that place.